Washington. The main Supreme Court on Wednesday cleared way former President Donald Trump appear in states. Republican presidential primary. Sending dispute over Trump's eligibility for a second term back to Secretary of State further action. After U.S. decides become president. The Supreme Court issued a decision in a similar case in Colorado. Judge Michaela Murphy, who sits Superior Court in Augusta, said in a 17-page decision that Democratic Secretary of State Shella Bellow's December decision should remain on hold until the Supreme Court rules Colorado dispute, stating that primary election in Maine is planned be held on March 5. Murphy wrote unless Supreme Court decides that President Trump is disqualified from office of President before this date, eligible Maine voters who wish to vote for him in primary election will be eligible vote for President Trump before this date, will be able to vote for, do so with the winner determined by rank choice voting. He said Maine law gives him authority. Send matter back to Bellows and order him issue a new ruling when Supreme Court decides Colorado. Case. Murphy gave the Secretary of State 30 days after the nation's highest court weighed in to issue a new ruling modifying, withdrawing, or affirming its original ruling on Trump's fitness for office. Murphy said that because so many federal issues were raised in the other dispute, it would be imprudent for this court to be the first in Maine to address them. Simply put, United States Supreme Court's acceptance of the Colorado case changes everything about order in which these issues should be decided and by which court, he wrote. And while it is impossible to know what the Supreme Court will decide, I hope it will at least clarify the role, if any, that decision makers, including secretaries of state and judicial officers, play in adjudicating disqualification claims brought under SEC. Background of the Maine case Trump asked Maine Supreme Court to review the ruling that concluded Bellows was not qualified to serve as president under Section 3 of 14th Amendment. The provision, enacted after the Civil War, prohibits anyone who swears to support the Constitution and then rebels against it from holding public office. Acting response to challenges Trump's candidacy under Section 3. Bellows concluded that Trump engaged in insurrection the weeks before and on January 6 by inciting his supporters and leading them march on the Capitol overturn Congress 2020 certification. The events of January 6, 2021 were unprecedented and tragic. They were not only an attack on the Capitol and government officials, but also an attack on the rule of law, he wrote. The evidence here shows that these occurred at behest and with the knowledge and support of outgoing president. The U.S. Constitution does not condone an attack on the foundations of our government. And Section 336 requires me to act in response. Bellows became first and only state election offic. 